on the same talk, she's, she's on she's on Facebook, she's on LinkedIn, she's everywhere. Um, on the same topic, how would you suggest asking for a raise in salary when you discover that your coworkers are making more than you are and they aren't as qualified? That one is a tricky one. Well, okay, so I can take Fair this point. in two different ways, right? <laughs> so let's just say that um, you have two people, two people that were hired at the same time and you're that person that you feel that you're not making the same as the lower qualified person. I would say if you were recently hired, like in the last year or so ish, two years, guess what? You had your opportunity. They just did a better job than you did. Um, <laughs> right. Um, so, so there is that now, um, if there is a huge discrepancy, um, and there are other, things that are coming into play um, as to, hey, you were downgraded and maybe you tried and you couldn't. There are some other issues that might need to be addressed there. Yeah. Now, let's just say on the surface is exactly what um, the question that Christy asked. Uh, it, it There are some companies that have a very open environment in terms of what their pay bands are. Um, there are some other companies that don't. Um, I would tell you the culture differs. and um, And in some cultures, you have to... And, and some folks are going to hate when I say this, you're going to have to be careful on how you approach it. Yes. Um, you are. Right? Yeah. Because in some cultures, it's like, hey, you're not supposed to be sharing pay bands and you weren't supposed to know the other person's. Right. So I, I can yeah. talk all day about whether that's a good thing or not. Um, let's focus in on the companies where you know um, what the pay bands are and you're like, hey, this person is not as qualified. Then again, I would go back to what I mentioned earlier, which is, you know, are you showing the value that you bring? Um, are, are you are you showing it? Are you communicating it exactly. effectively? Effectively, right. are you communicating yeah. um, the value that you bring, and and can you quantify that to be able yes. to have that conversation, uh, so that you can come and say, "Hey, listen, um, I I I feel that I'm underpaid given what I am doing. I get that um, I came in at this amount, um, and and I would like to have the conversation, and yes. and sometimes." You know, it, it's like any other relationship. Sometimes it's like, yes, let me see what I can do. And maybe I can phase you up to that. Sometimes it's no. And if it's no, then it's a matter of asking, well, why and what could be done differently moving forward? And and then and then you kind of know, like where you stand. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of times too, a, a tactic uh, for that, it would be going to your manager and saying, I want to ask you for some suggestions on how I could get to the next level. What are some things I should be doing before your review that says, uh, not, not in my job description, that I could do on my own, my own time to get better at what the next level does. And that way they can see that you're assertive and that you're looking to get promoted and you're planting those seeds unconsciously um, and always looking to let them know that you're looking to grow with the company on your own dime, at your own, you know, on your own time. Uh, that goes a long way to again if communicating your value in a way that's not even related to your daily job function it's over and above you know well, i would say so two things there one is um that's looking to get to the next level christy's talking about current role um and pay within that current role right so if we're sticking with the current role then okay let's follow some of the steps that that i discussed and there's way more that we could get into right yeah um, if we have the time um what you're saying is hey how do i level up to that next role it's, um, I think it's being, showing you're more assertive is really because yeah. if you just by doing that, maybe you're you are you want to get to the next level, but it's just having another discussion. It's another touch point. It's another mm -hmm. uh, I'm a go getter, you know, so yeah. I think it does tie back to maybe I'm just being too quiet. So going there and asking for their opinion, not mm -hmm. on my job now, because hell, I don't want to tip my hand that I'm not doing it. It's a way just to show them that I want to grow. And so that they're going to look at what you're doing now closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing is you mentioned on my own dime, on my own time. Um, and certainly now, not, not going to college or anything, but listen, you know, some things you can do on your own, like buying books on, on things. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah. So, so I would say um, on my own dime, on my own time with a caveat uh, of certain things, right? Because yeah. it, it's not to say, right. So I, I just want to make sure the audience doesn't misinterpret that to, Hey, we're not saying you work your normal call it eight to five job 
Uh, and then you're going to do a whole bunch of other stuff for them for free from like six to 9 PM. Right. That's no. not what we're saying. We're saying, you know, what could you do, whether it's schooling, whether it's podcasts, what else can the you skills, be doing yeah. to continue to increase your skills and competencies? Yeah, networking, right. Building those exactly. relationships and stuff. Right. It, it could even be like attending association meetings, right? Um, Thanks for watching that video segment. If you enjoyed it and like to see more content just like that one, click over here. If you'd like to see that video in its entirety, click over here. Thank you.